Hi art friends, today we're going to learn about a fascinating woman named Maria Marion, an artist who lived almost 400 years ago. Maria Marion was born in Germany and she was fascinated by the metamorphosis of a chrysalis into a beautiful butterfly. That even inspired her to travel to tropical Suriname in South America. What an amazing woman. She had the courage 400 years ago to do things that would be pretty daring even today. Would you just set sail across the Atlantic to visit the unknown country of Suriname in order to catch butterflies in the jungle and then preserve and draw them? Maria Marion did just that. She was 13 when she first observed the metamorphosis of butterflies at a silk farm. For her, it was a divine miracle. Maria could not forget about the miracle she had seen. She roamed through the meadows near where she lived in Frankfurt, Germany, and collected caterpillars. At home, she put them in jars and boxes. But what do caterpillars eat? Imagine her joy when another butterfly emerged. One day, Maria had the chance to see examples of the most beautiful tropical butterflies from Suriname. It was a sight which filled her with a longing to go on a voyage of exploration to that very place. She was the very first person to carry out such a plan. She set sail for South America with her younger daughter. The two women spent two years in Suriname. Indians helped them to clear paths through the jungle so they could watch and draw the animals and plants. Then Maria became seriously ill with malaria and she and her daughter had to return to Amsterdam. But in their luggage, they had a real hoard of preserved animals and insects as well as lots of drawings which they displayed in their house in Amsterdam. Then Maria produced her most magnificent work, Metamorphosis Insectorium Surinamiseum, illustrated with lots of engravings, detailed descriptions, and scientific observations. Today, Maria is still regarded as one of the most important names in the study of insects. You can find her portrait on money and many schools are named after her. What an amazing woman.